Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Epic Game World, we're here in Anime Adventures and we're going to be evolving and showcasing this unit, Stain. He's from the Hero City update. Here he is, Stain. He's physical and dark. And in order to get Stain, first of all, you're going to need to go to the raids area and you will need to complete the Hero City Hero Slayer raid. And if you do this 15 times, you're guaranteed to get him. If you do beat it once, you do have a 1% chance. So anytime you're beating this raid, you do have a 1% chance to get him. But 15 times, he's guaranteed. Now, this is a really, really hard raid. So minimum, you're going to want to have the storm or light attributes on your units in order to be able to get a little bit of a buff. And you're also going to need a really, really good team. So after you actually get Stain from completing the raid, then you are going to also need, let me show you here, 7,500 takedowns, these 7,500 takedowns, and then he needs even more stuff. So this is a tough unit to evolve, let me just tell you. So let's take a look what else he needs. So then he's also going to be needing Ice Crystallite, 12 Ice Crystallite. You get those from the Virtual Dungeon Legend Stages. He's going to also need 12 Dark Crystallite from the Virtual Dungeon Legend Stages. And... Six Blood Crystallite from the Virtual Dungeon Legend Stages. And if you don't know where that is, let's take a look right here. So you just jump in here, just like any other Legend Stage, Virtual Dungeon. And on Stage 1, you get the Dark Crystallite. Stage 2, you get the Ice Crystallite. And Stage 3, you get the Blood Crystallite. These are not that easy either. They're not as hard, obviously, as the Raid, but they're also not easy. You may need to come with some other people to help you complete that. So that's quite a bit. So you got 24, you have 30, you need to beat that stage 30 times between the three stages. Plus you got to beat the raid 15 times, which is really hard. Yeah. So anyhow, guys, let's go back over to the evolve area and we're going to go ahead and evolve Stain. And we're going to see what he does. Take him into a map and check him out. All right. So where is he? Where did you go? Here you go. All right, so Stain, once we evolve him, we're going to get plus 40% attack, plus blade dance, plus blood curdle. So here we go, guys. Evolve. Ooh, Stain Hero Slayer. Nice. Stack cubes. Perfect stack cube. And let's cancel that. Let's go ahead and equip him. Take him outside and see what he looks like. Looks pretty much the same, I guess. Has a, has a little aura going on there. Let's take a look at him. Nice. Check him out. So Stain Hero Slayer, it doesn't even seem like my stats went up. I'm not even sure. I guess I did have a, do have an S minus. It's not bad. It's not great. So there he is, Stain Hero Slayer, physical and dark. And we're going to go ahead and bring him into a map here. Let's go over to the play area. Let's see where we can take him. I don't know how great he is or how strong he is or what he actually does. Let's take him somewhere a little bit. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Someplace we haven't gone for like a really long time. What about Magic Town? Town. I haven't seen that for a while. Let's check that out. Let's check that out. See what Stain could do there. All right. So here we are in Magic Town. I have not been on this map in quite some time. I don't know if Stain could do air or anything. So we will have to find out. We'll see what he actually can do here. Now, Stain, he's actually 1500 to deploy. Total deployment cost is 66,600. Very interesting. And he also does have a spawn cap of three. Here we go. Let's see what he does. Stain Hero Slayer, ooh, he's just chopping them up. Really, really nice. So let's see, does he have, he does have bleed damage, so he is a bleed unit, which is pretty cool. So it looks like he's doing um some pretty good amount of bleed damage. He does bleed damage from, actually from placement, he's doing bleed damage. And then once you get up to his, his uh, ninth upgrade, He's doing 23,000 bleed damage over three ticks. So he does have some really good bleed damage to him. And we're going to see what type of um, regular damage he does. So they're already getting away. Place another one back here. And we'll go ahead and get our money units down. And then we'll be back and we'll finish upgrading Stain and see what he does here. Okay, guys, here we are. We just finished upgrading our money units. We have our first Stain here. Let's take a look at him. We have our first Stain down right here. It's kind of a weird name to keep saying over and over, but you know, whatever. So he is a bleed unit. He is doing bleed damage. He does not hit air as far as I can tell right here. So we're going to have to put an air unit. Just throw a couple.
couple of Fujis back here. That should take care of that. All right, so for his and on placement right now, so on placement, he's doing 5,128 damage, 5.6 seconds, 20.6 range. So upgrade one is 2,100. That brings him up to 11,522. 5.6 stays the same, and his range goes up a little bit to 21.6. 2,100 there. All right, so for upgrade two, He's going to 19,215, 5.6 seconds, 23.8 range for 3,000. Upgrade 3, 25,609, 5.6 seconds, 26 range, 3,500. Here we go. For upgrade 4, he's going to get plus frenzy. That's going to bring him up to 35,866, 6.5 seconds, 28.1 range. So here we go, plus frenzy. Let's check it out. Oh, there we go. He's like a new Sukuno. Very cool. Very cool. He's a cool unit. He's a pretty cool unit. I really... Uh, where did he go? Oh, I'm standing on his head. Okay. All right. So here we go. For upgrade five, he's going to go up to 48,671, 6.5 seconds, 29.2 range. That's 6,500. Upgrade six. It's going to be plus blood curdle, 56,646, 6.5 seconds, 30.3 range. Here we go, 8,000 blood curdle. What is that doing? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I don't really see anything um, spectacularly different happening there. All right, so let's go again here for uh, his upgrade seven. He's going to get plus blood dance. He's going up to, oh, look, he has blood curdle right here. It's actually a move with a button. Okay, let's see somebody come out. We'll press it. All right, where you are? Where are you? Here we go, Blood Curdle. Oh, okay. I don't know. I think I used it wrong. All right, so upgrade seven is going to be plus Blood Dance, 67,886, six seconds, 32.5 range for 10,000 plus Blood Dance. Okay, so now he's doing an extra attack. Blood Curdle is charged up again. Let's try it. Uh, I really don't understand Blood Curdle. I'm not really too sure about that. I have to like um, try that out a little bit more. He obviously, uh, is he doing fly? He does not do fly as far as I know. No. Okay, so for upgrade 8, 80,691, 6 seconds, 33.5 range. That's 12,000. Upgrade 8, 102, 471, 6 seconds, 35.7 range, 15,000. And he's maxed out. So 102... 471, 6 seconds, 35.7 range, 50% critical, and he has Blood Curdle. So let's try this one more time. Does it hit air? I don't think it hit air. No. Blood Curdle. Blood Curdle, I'm not really sure exactly what it does. Let's see how many of him we can play. So that's 2, 3. That's right. That's it. 3. So the placement cap is 3. So there he is. Let's look at his stats real quick. Let's look at his stats here. So... It looks like when he comes out, um, he already has bleed damage over three seconds, a little bit of bleed damage. Upgrade one, bleed damage goes up to a little bit more. It's not like a thousand and two thousand. Then he's going up to four thousand. It's over three ticks also. And he's really not getting any good bleed damage, honestly. I mean, he's getting maybe a third of what his total damage is in bleed damage over three ticks. So it's really not. Not all that impressive, to be honest with you. The bleed damage isn't, isn't like tremendously impressive. And Blood Curdle, I, I don't get it. I'm not really sure what Blood Curdle does. Probably not the best map to bring him on because there are fly units here. And he does not handle flying. But there he is. I mean, that's Stain. He's from the Hero City Hero Slayer update. He is a cool unit. He is a secret. I'm glad that I got him. He is a new bleed unit. And he does a, a good amount of damage. So he does a good amount of damage. He does have a special move. And maybe on another map, we can see what this does a little bit better. Well, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.
please be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss another video on Epic Game World. See you guys next time.